Alrighty, so you want to know how to extreme Z awaken your prime battle kid Gohan. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing a comprehensive guide that shows you everything that you're going to need to do, and I'll try and give as many helpful tips and tricks as I can along the way to make sure that you are good to go. So if you do find yourself enjoying today's guide or you did get something out of it, uh, leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we need to do is look at the Extreme Z area itself. So I'm going to pull this up on the, the wiki because this is just going to be a little bit easier for me to talk through because there's going to be like a lot of going back and forth if we don't. So here we go. Let's look at this. So the first thing we need to look at is the Extreme Z area for this kid Gohan. This is what you guys are going to be seeing over on the global side of things when you go in. As you can see, this was released today as of when I'm recording this. So uh, let's go ahead and scroll down. Here we go. These are the characters that we are going to need, right? So this is Super Strike Vegeta. We'll get into everything that you need to know as we go for all these characters. We can see these are the six that we are going to need. And you can see here, I'm going to highlight this. Uh, they need to be extra fully easy eight and their hidden potential needs to be fully activated. So what we need to do is at least rainbow them. You don't need to get them to SA 15, but you do need to have them at SA 10 in order to get the rainbow star on them. So let's break this down uh, one by one in terms of the characters, just so we can have at least an idea of what we need to do. So this is the free to play Super Strike Vegeta. This is the event that we are going to be acquiring this guy. We have to kind of just click our way through this. Uh, the typical way that you need to do this, you can see the uh, Awakening Medals. We're going to need 10 to Dokkan Awaken, Metal, or <laughs> Dokkan Awaken this guy. But this is the stage that we are going to want to do this. So stage one, you're going to use, um, what's it called? You're going to do to get the, the copies of the character. We're going to need at least uh, 14 of them around. With the SRs, it's a little bit more. So I would say farm up about 20 or so, and you should be good to go. Uh, then you're going to want to do stage two to Dokkan Awaken them. You can see right here, you're going to do that and then Dokkan Awaken him into this version. Then once you do that, you want to make sure he's maxed out when he gets into his UR state. You'll be able to do missions for these along the way. That's going to make this a lot easier. And then we are going to get these Dokkan Awakening medals right here to get him into this. So when it comes to easy aing him, that is going to be the next step, right? We have to do the Extreme Z Awakening. This is going to be part of the Super Strike event. What we want to do is go to stage four, and this is where you're going to be able to do the easy A, right? So you can see here, we have the Earth Red Fighters category is going to be the boost, but all you have to do is just play this event a few times, uh, look at the missions to get the uh, medals as fast as possible, and that is how we take care of Vegeta. So I had to make sure that we took, started with that right away. So here we go now, we have to look at Zarbon and Dodoria. Zarbon and Dodoria are acquired from the Namek Saga story event. It is specifically the uh, ruler of the universe, uh, warrior races in Emperor's Intentions. You guys will see this is the picture for it, and this is where you're going to be acquiring this Zarbon. Now what you want to do is you will acquire the Zarbon from stage two. You want to make sure you get as many copies as you need to max them out, and then you're going to farm up the Dokkan Awakening medals in order to farm up this guy all the way. And then what we want to do to go to the easy A, let's pull up Zarbon where we had him. Where are you, Zarbon? We're going to go to his Dokkan Awaken version, and then we need to look at the Extreme Z area that I believe he comes with as well, because it was kind of like a whole Namek, Sama, Namek Saga Extreme Z Awakening, if I'm not mistaken. So if we go to his Extreme Z area, the Planet Namek Saga Extreme Z Awakening, uh, all of these characters are the ones you're going to want to use. And then here are the characters that you can use to play in this event. And what we would need to do is uh, do stage what is called stage two for Zarbon and Dodoria. So keep in mind, I know this is a lot, but you have to have some of these characters farmed up and it's just the way that these prime battles work. They reward you for having free to play things done. So that is Zarbon and Dodoria. Let's go ahead and move on to the next unit, which is going to be Goldo. And we can take care of Goldo at the same time as we take care of Raccoon. Uh, where are you, Goldo? So Goldo. I'm sure most of you guys know at this point, uh, you got to do it through the special training of the Ginyu Force Saga. Uh, this is going to be uh, the spe a specific version of this, right? Like you can see here, this is going to be the one from here. We want to do this stage as many times until we max it out, and then we are going to want to use these to get the uh, hidden potential ones, right? You can see here's the guide, this is what you would need, here's the amount of numbers, and then once we have him maxed out, we want to go to his EZA, and then that is going to be... I just had this up, I don't, I don't, did I not keep it up? Uh, I don't think I did. So let's go to, we want to go to your Dokkan Awakening. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Sorry about this. <laughs> I had it open and I guess I closed it, but uh, I can just kind of continue to talk, talk our way through it here, right? So we want to get you right here. And then what we want to do is go to your EZA, which is going to be, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Right here. So the Ginyu Force EZA, what we want to do is the same process that we're doing for Goldo is the same process that we're going to do for Raccoon. So Raccoon needs to be maxed out and then uh, Goldo needs to be maxed out. So stage one for Goldo, stage two for Raccoon. Once you have all that set up, you're almost done. Now we just need to go look at Raditz himself. 
and then Raditz you're going to be acquiring from the Extreme Z uh, or from his story event, right? So if we click on you right here, we'll pull him up. Uh, I guess we'll just start opening new tabs. I don't know why I wouldn't do it in the first place, but with this uh, Raditz, what we want to do is go to stage one or stage two to farm up him. Make sure you do it on Z hard for the higher rates. And then you want to use a low class warrior team if you can and that way you'll have the extra chance for drops then we want to go to stage four then once we do stage four we're going to be able to farm up and get his extreme z awaken or his uh, delcon awakening done and then once we do that we need to extreme z uh eza him and he can be done in the saiyan saga extreme z area this is just him so stage one of this here are the characters that you can use for that so hopefully you have some of these done uh, and then what we want to do is make sure he's easy aid and then we can now talk about the last character which is this nappa now nappa is a little bit tricky because you need to buy him from the Baba Shop. But luckily for you guys watching this video today, uh, this Nappa is uh, going to be acquirable uh, through the Baba Shop at all times. So if you go to your Baba Shop right now, you're going to be able to buy him for a premium rate of points. I've, I believe it was 12,000, but it might be a little bit higher than that. But what you wanna do is make sure you buy 14 of these Nappas to make sure you can max them out and get the super attack. Or if you can't afford that with the Baba points, just forego it and you can, uh, I would say just use the Kai's or you can farm up this Nappa right here to do his super attack as well so long story short this is going to be a lot of work but one thing you can do with this nappa what i was talking about you need to use baba points to buy the extreme z uh, medals and then you also need to buy these ghost usher medals with zenny and that'll be super super easy so if we go to his uh where, where are we at the extreme z awakening right here you can get the medals via it doesn't show it right here but you can get those medals these medals are in the baba shop literally right above the nappa um, if i click this maybe we can see where it's at where is the location? No, I, I guess like no, it just doesn't. They just don't want to show it. So this campaign, I believe, is already done. But like you can see right here, yeah, here we go, perfect. So the Baba points are right here to buy these. So you're gonna want to buy these with Baba points, and then once we have all that done, all our characters are easy aid. We can actually hop into the event itself. Let's go ahead and go back to the phone here. And now that we have all that, one thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> Uh, in order to unlock this event, what we need to also do is do the Prime Battle. So the Prime Battle itself, you don't need to farm up the Gohan like right this second, but what you do need to do is beat it on all three difficulties. So if you have not farmed up the Prime Battle Gohan yet, keep in mind that the boost category for it is going to be Saiyan Saga. So if we click on this right here, what we'd want to do is build a free-to-play Saiyan Saga team. Uh, if you don't do any of the Prime Battles, it could look like this, but keep in mind two of these uh, units are ones that we were using earlier. So if you did something like this, you could do stage one and farm up the characters at a faster rate. So you want to farm up the amount of characters with this stage. And then on stage two, you'd want to farm up the medals to make him a, a, a UR, which is going to be 30. And then stage three, I'm sure if you guys have done Prime Battles before, the infamous 777, that's the amount of medals we're going to need to get, to get, get this Gohan maxed out. So once we've done all that, we've cleared all three stages, we've done everything that we've said so far with the guide, with farming up all these characters, getting them easy aid, getting them rainbowed, we can now go into the Extreme Z area. So this is gonna be on Super 2, and we'll just go ahead and hop in and do a run, and then you guys are going to wanna do this until you have, I believe it is 45. Uh, I'm actually gonna play this manually, because I'm pretty sure this event is actually like kinda hard, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I could be wrong on that. It's like I said, it's been a long time since I've done this, so we shall see. But what you'd want to do is kind of just play it smart, right? Zarbon and Dodoria are able to seal, so that is something that you're going to want to focus on. And then I believe Raccoon, he might be restricted to having guard uh, via Ginyu Force allies, but we shall see. But you'll see here, I believe this Zarbon and Dodoria can seal, so that is going to be something to keep in mind. Your main damage dealers are going to be... Um, what is the word? Yeah, you can see this Gohan's hitting pretty hard, like 260,000. Like, yeah, that's that's not a joke, right? <laughs> How much is this going to hit for? Yeah, 170. That's a lot. Jeez. Yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> okay, Nappa, that was a huge crit, dude. Oh, my God. No, we're not dead, dude. Chill. Okay, yeah, Raccoon has his guard. Oh, no. Okay, um, yeah, I think we're just straight up dead. Um, maybe not. Let's let's try and heal up a little bit. <laughs> you can see this this guide is very comprehensive because we uh, we're we're almost dead. <laughs> so keep in mind this can happen to you, right? There's not really a foolproof way to get through this. This is just what's going to happen, right? You got to get lucky with your opening rotations, but this is kind of just like you got to tough it out and eventually you should be able to get through it just fine. In this case, we did end up getting the W, but you can see it does get a little bit close. So 
Uh, hopefully that explains everything. I know this is a lot. If you do have any questions about how to farm this up, it is uh, I, I can answer them in the comment sections below. But just keep in mind that m the, with the idea of you doing a prime battle and like you're trying to easy your prime battles, uh, this is with the idea that you aren't just like a brand new player, right? You can't just get this Gohan and easy him in like five minutes, right? You're going to have to put in a little bit of work. And I hate to say that just because like it's not a... Let me let me actually make sure uh, while we're talking, I can just do this while I'm forming this up. But let me just make sure that my metals are my my math is correct on the EZA. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you do need 45. Yeah, I was right. So we're going to have to farm this up until we're at 45. And that is going to take a little bit, but we should be able to get it done eventually. Uh, it seems like Zarbon and Dodoria as the lead is the way to go. But yeah, you, I mean, you can just see this team is not great. So. One thing that you're looking for is question marks as well. You're going to be wanting to try and get question marks, but there's no way to control that, right? You just kind of have to play it and hope that you get them. I, I can't give you like a quick way to get question marks because that just doesn't exist. So uh, let's see. Goldo has a lot of ways to debuff. So getting Goldo on slot one is actually going to be really nice because this Gohan can be stunned and sealed. So this Goldo is actually like going to be someone that you really want to have on the first turn. So you can see now you saw the icon on the top left. Uh, we did get a debuff on him, so now this Gohan is sealed. So now we're a little bit safer, right? Because he's not going to be able to get that super in that hits for like 200,000, and we should be good to go. So if you do end up taking an L, just remember that most of the time it probably, like, honestly wasn't even your fault. It's just you got really unlucky with rotations or something like that, so don't worry about it too much. But that's basically it for this guide. Uh, we'll finish up this last stage just to give you an eye, like I said, the kind of final thing. You're going to have to run this a decent bit, but once you have it done, it'll be worth it because you have your EZA done and stuff like that. And these prime battles are good to farm up when you get them because you never know where they're going to be used for something else. Uh, like they might be a boost for something like in the future, like with the boost on the prime battle, it's Saiyan Saga. So like you saw earlier when I was looking at like the characters to use for this Extreme Z area uh, for his prime battle, they were ones from the Saiyan Saga. So it was like uh, I could use the prime battle TN. I could use the prime battle Kid Gohan. I could use the prime battle Krillin and stuff like that. So keep that in mind as you're farming this. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a grind, but like I said, you will be rewarded. You get stones, it's all that fun stuff. So uh, if there is any confusion, uh, like I said, leave it down below. This was a little bit of a tricky one to record, but I hope I covered everything uh, to a decent degree and you at least are understanding what you need to do. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guide. Uh, hopefully you're able to farm up this Gohan. I wish you luck with your runs and I'll catch you all in the next one.